Today we're going to play a game called Make the Sum, which students will play in bridges grade two and three using different target numbers. In second grade, Make the Sum can be found in unit three, session seven, with a follow-up as workplace 4B. In third grade, it is located in unit one, session six, and in workplace 1A. For this game, you will use a deck of Make the Sum cards located in your materials kit. If you need to refer to directions, you can find them in grade 2 on page 224 and in grade 3 on page 34. Skills include fluency with addition and subtraction facts to 20, solving for missing add-in or unknown, and using the commutative property of addition. Object of the game is to combine cards to make a target sum. In second grade, students will begin by making a target sum of 7. In third grade, students will make target sums between 10 and 20. Let's start playing the game. First, students will shuffle the deck and place cards face down on a table. Again, the target sum in second grade begins by using 7, but I will demonstrate a target that a third grader might use. I'll use 11. To begin, Turn one card face up and place it between you and your partner. Now you're going to take turns drawing a card and placing it face up. But before I draw a card, I'm going to tell my partner which card I'm hoping for. I'll need to think about which cards would help me to reach my target sum. And since we already have a 10 here, I'm hoping to get a 1 to equal 11. I'm going to turn my card over. Got a 9. That won't help me reach 11. So it's my partner's turn. My partner is hoping to get 11, so he's hoping for either a 1 to go with a 10 or a 2 to go with a 9. So he'll turn over the cards. And he got a 2, so he can use the 2 plus 9 to reach that target of 11. And he gets to take those two cards. When you can combine a set of cards to make a target number, you share your addition strategies with your partner and then take the cards. Remember that you can combine more than two cards to make the sum, and the player with the most cards at the end wins, so it helps if you can make the target sum by adding many cards. If you make the sum, as my partner just did, you do not get an extra turn. Your partner still gets the next turn. So now it's my turn. I'm going to draw, but first I'm going to say what I hope for, and I would hope for a 1 to go with my 10 to make 11. Didn't get it though, so it's my partner's turn. My partner draws and gets a, oh, first of all, my partner needs to say what he would like to get. My partner would like to get a 1 to go with that 10, or a 3 to go with the 8. So he lays down his card. He got a 2. That won't help him. So it's my turn. There are uh, several things that I could do here. I could get a 3 to go with my 8, a 1 to go with my 10, I could get a 9 to go with my 2, or if I wanted to make a combination of 3 cards, I'd love to have a 1 to go with the 2 and the 8. 8 plus 2 plus 1 to equal 11. So I draw my card. Oh, and I got a 1. So I will be able to combine 8 plus 2 plus 1 to equal that target of 11. I get to keep those cards and then my partner would be able to keep going. You'll continue taking turns with your partner until no more cards can be combined to make the target sum. Some cards may be left over at the end if they can't be combined to make the target sum. At the end of the game, count your cards. The player with the most cards wins. If some students need more of a challenge, you can encourage them to make a sum between 15 and 20. When students play at a challenge level, make sure partners are at the same skill level so that one child doesn't have an advantage and frustrate the other. I hope that you and your students enjoy this game. Thank you for watching.